is in fact your reigning source for all WWE news, rumors, and headlines. This is your undisputed place to be. Remember to share this video all over social media and become a channel member today. Ladies and gentlemen, right at the top of the video, we are talking huge developments on Monday Night Raw, the future of Raw, and what Raw is going to look like moving forward. This you do not want to miss, especially if you're a Raw fan. And if you want to catch Raw, watch Raw, see Raw, this really might have significance on WWE's absolute panic bedlam. Dr. Carlin Coger pushes to dismiss Janelle Grant's medical record request in a WWE lawsuit. Yes, you heard that right, guys. Will the lawsuit be dropped? Because according to those in the know, Janelle Grant requested records from Dr. Carlin Coger, a wellness doctor connected to her case. Vince McMahon tried to stop the request, but a judge ruled against him. Dr. Coger has denied any wrongdoing in his treatment of Grant. In response to Coger's request to dismiss her evidence petition, Grant filed a motion to cancel his discovery request. A lot has happened since then. And now Dr. Coger is asking for Grant's petition to be dismissed. Dr. Coger responded by filing a complaint denying her claims and calling them a smear campaign. He argues that these accusations have seriously harmed his reputation, estimating the damage to be tens of millions of dollars. Dr. Coger is requesting documents to refute Grant's claims and is also seeking to question her directly. In response, Grant filed a motion in connection to Superior Court to dismiss Coger's complaint and his request for evidence. Now, according to Post Wrestling, Dr. Carlin Coger has... His clinic, Peak Wellness, has filed a motion to dismiss Janelle Grant's request for records in Connecticut Superior Court. Koga's attorneys argue that they already provided her team with electronic copies of the medical and billing records she requested. To support this, they included emails sent to Grant's counseling showing when they shared her records. Grant's request seeks eight specific types of information. These include her electronic medical records, billing and payment records, and payment arrangements involving Vince McMahon and WWE. She also wants details on the purpose and substances of her prescribed treatments. On top of that, she is asking for any communication between Dr. Colger and McMahon related to her care as well as information on Colger's role and recommending her for a potential non-disclosure agreement. This is not a violation of Judge Meyer's stay. It is an effort to evade Connecticut's requirement that bills of discovery must be brought to the cur uh, purpose of litigation in Connecticut Superior Court. All that Grant would have to do to avoid dismissal on this ground would be to acknowledge for willingly and unconditionally that she will use whatever information she obtains in this proceeding in an action that she will bring in the Connecticut Superior Court. Koga's attorney wrote, she cannot truthfully do so. A review of the eight categories of information she seeks to discover here when read in light of the summary of her allegations relating to her federal action makes clear that this action is jointed at the top of her federal action. If the federal case wasn't put on hold, lawyers for Coger say Grant could and would be pursuing this discovery and suing defendants in the federal case. So uh, regardless, it remains to be seen how the lawsuit would progress as there are quite a few elements to it, so it might take a considerable amount of time to reach a conclusion. Do you feel there will be proper resolution to this lawsuit in the end? Who will come out on top? McMahon, Grant, uh, Carlin Coker, guys, obviously there is a lot to unfold there. Mercedes Monet, the former Sasha Banks of WWE, says she'd pursue the IWGP Women's Title if she wanted it. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on Sasha Banks, the boss. Speaking about Monday Night Raw, and guys, so pivotal to like, comment, and donate below. Everybody can now donate with what they call a super thanks donation. All you're gonna do is use your credit card and. Donate to Sean View to help keep me on YouTube. Now, the future of Monday Night Raw hangs in the balance. Now, a lot of you are sad and mad that you are not going to get Raw on regular TV network cable television. It's going to be pulled from the USA Network in the coming months. And by January of 2025, Raw will be going to Netflix. Now, that's what you already know. But what you may not know is that for a short time, Raw will be canceled. Yes, indefinitely. Raw will be canceled on Monday nights in favor of Raw Afternoon. Monday Night Raw in the afternoon. Yes, because when WWE goes over the seas, when the WWE goes out of the country, when the WWE goes out of the states, the United States, WWE Raw will be live in the afternoon, meaning Raw on Monday nights, on nightly, will be canceled in favor of Afternoon Raw. 
your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on Raw airing in the afternoon. Now, this would be huge and monumental because Raw has never aired on Monday afternoon. So this would be history-making, and it would be ginormous in every sense of the word. Make no mistake about it here on the Brash and the Brazer. We raise the bar to all-time levels and new heights. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Viettamin is the everyday delight because we do do this multiple times a day. Mercedes Monet says that she was born to lead the charge for women's wrestling. Where do you stand with Mercedes Monet, the former Sasha Banks? Cora Jade undergoes fans not to send mail to her parents' house. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Obviously, Cora Jade is a very popular figure, but at no time should you be sending mail to their house because that's, well, a little bit stalkerish if you ask me. WWE signs Zara Zakar as fifth prospect in the independent developmental program. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, Soraya, the former page of WWE, shoots down claims that she sustained injury of Mr. AEW absence. What is really going on with Paige in WWE? Remember to subscribe today. Liv Morgan eyes the WWE Tag Team Gold to cap off what would be the best year in WWE history. Yes, you heard that right. In history, ladies and gentlemen. The Rock addresses his role. You know, for years and years. The Rock said, know your role and shut your mouth. Well, The Rock addresses his role in WWE's future after his bad blood appearance. There's been a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation. There's been a lot of back and forth, quite frankly, about the great one, The Rock. Well, what is going on with The Rock? We're going to get right into that. But before that, Brutus the Barber Beefcake claims credit for launching Hulk Hogan's career. Who do you think should take credit for launching Hulk Hogan's career? The Rock allegedly behind Hulk Hogan's WWE ejection after taking offense to racist language. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Obviously, there's some animosity, some hatred, maybe now some backstage heat, some simmering words between The Rock and Hulk Hogan. We remember their feud from 2002 and 2003, and now all the way back. And now we're going all the way forward to 2024 and beyond, and The Rock and Hulk Hogan are still going at it. Can you believe that? Also, ladies and gentlemen, as we said, Brian Danielson aiming to avoid surgery amid significant neck issues. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. The Rock addresses his role in WWE. We're going to get right into it. Well, the following is, he continued, so the opportunity for me, The Rock, to become a director, sit on the board, take that position is just another way that I could help the company grow. While fans are eager to know when The Rock will make his next appearance on WWE TV, his return at Bad Blood and his recent comics suggest that he remains dedicated to playing a pivotal role in WWE's present and future. What do you think about The Rock's return and the ongoing involvement with WWE? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Plans have stalled on a new branch of NXT in the WWE. Also, Lance Inouye signs with WWE and joins NXT in a breaking news report. How many more new Bloodline members are going to sign with the WWE? Pretty soon, that's going to be the whole roster. It's just going to be of the Inouye family, you know? So, Matt Hardy on Chris Bay's injury. Everyone's keeping their fingers crossed, hoping for a full recovery. Obviously, that was a very sad state of affairs. Also... AEW's backstage reaction to serious negotiations for the ROH television deal unveiled online. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Do you want to see ROH be successful and have their own TV deal? Obviously, they have their television title. We've always been wanting and hoping that the WWE would bring in their own television championship. WWE ID program's next signing was scouted from GCW. Spoiler on WWE's plans for the bloodline during SmackDown is unveiled, and you can check that out online. However, SmackDown is tonight, so I don't want to really bring the spoilers here to you guys. You can read it online. Mercedes Martinez absence explained amid AEW and ROH contract status. Chris Statlander confirms reason by an ending partnership with Stokely Hathaway. Molina denies signing any new WWE contract. What is the realism behind that? Reason for Will Ospreay's recent AEW television absence revealed. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Adam Cole 
addresses AEW's confusing storyline surrounding his television return. Julia Hart is set for a comeback as AEW prepares for her return from injury. Also, Jack Hager, the former Jack Swagger, addresses removal from blizzarding pro event following controversial remarks. Yes, Jack Swagger is making a lot of sound, a lot of noise online, particularly as concerns AEW. Subscribe. Plenty more to come from the Brash One.